Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, The Masked Geek. If you are in the market for a new smartphone that won't break the bank, you are in the right place. Today we are diving into the top 5 5G smartphones under Rs 15,000 in India. Starting our countdown at number 5, we have the Vivo T2 5G. This phone features a sleek 90Hz AMOLED display with a U-shaped notch, ensuring smooth visuals. It boasts impressive outdoor readability with a brightness of up to 1300 nits, so sunlight visibility shouldn't be a problem. This device is constructed with a plastic bag and frame. Under the hood, the Vivo T2 5G is equipped with a Snapdragon 695 processor, providing solid performance for everyday tasks. In terms of photography, it sports a dual camera setup on the rear with a 64 megapixel main sensor, featuring an f1.8 aperture and optical image stabilization, complemented by a 2 megapixel depth sensor. However, it lacks an ultra wide camera. The front facing camera is a 16 megapixel shooter with an f2.0 aperture capable of recording videos at 1080p at 30fps, just like the rear cameras. Additional features include an under-display optical fingerprint sensor for enhanced security. The battery capacity is 4500mAh, which should comfortably last to a full day on a single charge. The box charger is a 44W charger. Pricing for the 6GB RAM and 128GB storage variant of the Vivo T2 5G is set at Rs 15,999, but it can be available for Rs 14,999 with certain card discounts making it a competitive option in this price range. At number 4, we have the Realme Narzo 60. The Realme Narzo 60 is a 5G phone which comes with a 90Hz AMOLED display with a peak brightness of 1000 nits. The display is visible outdoors without much of an issue. The back consists of an echo leather with a plastic frame and the front is protected by Gorilla Glass 5. The back of this phone looks pretty impressive. The Realme Narzo 60 is powered by the MediaTek Diamond City 6020 chipset, which is a decent processor. However, this processor is not capable enough to play heavy games at high graphics. In terms of photography, it sports a dual camera setup on the rear with a 64 megapixel main sensor featuring an f1.8 aperture, complemented by a 2 megapixel depth sensor. The front facing camera is a 16 megapixel shooter with an f2.0 aperture, capable of recording videos at 1080p at 30fps, just like the rear cameras. The phone comes with a 5000mAh battery along with a 33W fast charger in the box. This phone should easily last you a day with a single charge. The pricing of the 8GB RAM and 128GB storage variant of this phone is Rs 15,500. At number 3 we have the Moto G54 5G. The Moto G54 comes with a 120Hz IPS LCD panel with a screen size of 6.5 inches. The build of the phone consists of a plastic bag along with a plastic frame. The build quality of the Moto G54 will not disappoint you. The Moto G54 is powered with the MediaTek Diamond City 7020 chipset, which is based on the 6 nanometer processor. This is a decent processor and can perform all the average tasks you throw at it. The Moto G54 comes with a 50 megapixel main camera with f1.8 aperture, along with optical image stabilization, and it can record videos at 1080p up to 60 fps. The front camera is a 16 megapixel shooter with f2.4 aperture, which can shoot videos maximum at 1080p 30 fps. At the back, it also has a 2 megapixel depth sensor. The photos that come out of the Moto G54 5G are pretty impressive, and it is a well balanced phone. Coming to the battery, it has a 5000mAh battery which can easily last you around 1 to 1.5 days. The inbox charger is a 30W charger. The phone also supports a side mounted fingerprint sensor. The 8GB and 128GB variant of the phone is priced at Rs 14,000. At number 2, we have the Poco X6 Neo. The Poco X6 Neo comes with a 6.67 inch screen which is a 120Hz AMOLED panel with a peak brightness of up to 1000 nits. Although the phone has a plastic back but the phone looks premium with a sleek design. Poco X6 Neo is very slim and lightweight and it is protected by Gorilla Glass 5 on the front. Powered with the MediaTek Diamond City 6080 processor, it can perform all the day to day tasks easily. Coming to the camera system, the Poco X6 Neo has a 108MP primary camera with f1.8 aperture along with a 2MP depth camera. The front camera is a 16MP camera. Both these cameras can shoot videos at 1080p 30fps and the photos come out to be pretty decent. The battery of the Poco X6 Neo is a 5000mAh battery along with an inbox charger of 33W. The fingerprint sensor on this phone is a side mounted one which is very responsive. The 8GB 128GB variant of the phone is priced at Rs 15,000. Finally at number 1 we have the Samsung Galaxy M34 5G. The phone was launched expensive during the launch but now the price has dropped and at this price point this is one of the best phones. The Galaxy M34 5G comes with a 6.5 inch screen which is a 120Hz AMOLED panel 
with a peak brightness of up to 1000 nits. However, there is no punch hole camera in the M34 but it comes with a U-shaped notch. The back of the phone is made of plastic and the front is protected by Corning Gorilla Glass 5. The M34 is powered by the Samsung's own Exynos 1280 chipset which can perform all the normal tasks like watching YouTube, browsing and multitasking very easily but it is not suitable for heavy games. The cameras on this phone is very impressive at this price point. The rear has a triple camera setup which consists of a 50 megapixel f1.8 main camera with optical image stabilization, a 8 megapixel f2.2 ultra wide camera and a 2 megapixel depth camera. The main camera can shoot videos maximum at 4K 30fps. The selfie camera is a 13 megapixel shooter with f2.2 aperture and can shoot 1080p videos at 30fps. The photos of both the front and back camera are impressive due to the Samsung's photo processing capabilities. The phone comes with a massive 6000mAh battery but there is no charger provided with the box. The fingerprint sensor is a side mounted one. The price of the Galaxy M34 5G should be 16,199, which is a 6GB and 128GB variant. And there you have it, folks. Those are our top 5 picks for smartphones under Rs. 15,000 in India. Each of these devices stand out in its own unique way, ensuring that you don't have to compromise on quality or performance, even on a budget. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated on all our latest content. Let us know in the comments which phone you think is the best deal. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.